skibbity boop bap. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. And last week we talked about shoot 'em ups, at least some ones that are supposed to come out physically for the PS4 and the Nintendo Switch, hopefully in some point in 2021. Um, you know, there was some games that I missed, there was some games that were in the back of my mind that I forgot to mention, and also some games in the comments section that I saw I'd never even knew about. So first game, you can see it on the screen right now, that's the Raiden 4 Makita Remix. So when I saw this listing, and I saw it first on PlayAsia's website, when I saw this listing, I said, okay, this Makita remix, I thought that it might be a new version of Raiden 4, so essentially being a new Raiden game, I don't know. I never really got to play Raiden 4 Overkill on the PS3, because I think it was digital only, I never downloaded it. Is that on Steam? I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if it is. It probably is on Steam. But this Raiden 4 Makita remix, pretty much it's Raiden 4 with this arranged soundtrack from the, oh god, Makito Game Center. Makito Game Center is the so Makito remix. So the Makito Game Center now, there's one of the, the artists or the musicians, I guess, is Daisuke Matsumoto. And that name sounds familiar because... I, I'm not big on, you know, programmers and composers of music, but I did do a little bit of research for this, and I think that that same person worked on some of the soundtracks for some of the cave games. Which ones? I don't know. So if you do know anything about that, let me know in the comments, but... Anyway, so we have this Raiden 4 uh, Makita remix. I didn't see if it was coming out for the PlayStation 4, but online there's physicals posted. There's some Japanese uh, retailers, and then there's, of course, Play Asia. Amazon. I'm not sure if that's Amazon Japan or Amazon.com, uh, but they are on Amazon. Uh, an Amazon site I'm sure that you can make an account with and order one if you live in the United States and of course play Asia. Um, so what is this uh, this Makita remix other than just the fact that it's Raiden 4 with this arranged soundtrack? Um, so pretty much what you get here is you get a standard arcade mode, you get the overkill mode that came out on the PS3, you get a boss rush mode, a score attack mode, and then assuming you have internet access, you'll have a world ranking mode, and then you can publish your replay, I guess, to upload or do whatever you want with. Um, it, I guess pretty much everything you need out of a shooter. Um, the only other thing I could ask for, and I haven't played this game yet, so I don't know for sure, is being able to start on any specific level. That way you can practice and, you know, you, you could be really into you know, one CCing or maybe you're a score person, um, you know, if they do that and let you start from whatever level you want, you know, people are able to practice the games a lot faster that way. But this is one I'm excited for. There's a standard edition and then there's a collector's edition. Now, I would think that with this Makita remix that you would actually have a physical soundtrack with the game. And based on the Raiden games that have come out in the past, a lot of them did have soundtracks. So if I put my money on if this game would have a soundtrack or not, I would say that it probably would. But just throwing it out there, it's supposed to come out physically April 22nd of 2021. And that is the Raiden 4 Makita remix, which is the arranged soundtrack for the Nintendo Switch. Next up, we have a shooter called Niku Navy. Now, I learned about this from a commenter on my last video. I wish I could go and find the thread and pull it up. I probably could real quick, so I do apologize that I don't. But what I had, and they said this game was quite good. What I've played of this so far is, is really good. I, I really enjoy it. As a matter of fact, I, I think I'm going to do a deep dive at some point on this shooter. Um, and I don't really don't do deep dives on any shooters, but this thing is really resonating with me. Um, I wish I wasn't as busy as I am right now or I'd spend a lot of time playing it. So the first thing that I thought of when this game was mentioned to me was all-purpose cultural cackerel Nuku Nuku. I, I, yeah, I'm the only one, right? Seriously, that's the first thing I thought of. But Niku Navy, I, I, I guess from what it looks like, this is a doujin shooter and then it had a Daydream Edition. That's the version that we're getting on the Switch. Or the You can go on there and download it right now. Um, it's not like one of those shooters that is coming out physically that's not available digitally. Like, you can't get it digitally right now. And I have it downloaded on my Switch at this point. But if you go on to, and it's a First Press Games game, if you go onto the First Press Games website, they have a standard edition. And there's several different collector's editions. As a matter of fact, there's one for each character or playable shit, playable cat in the game. So I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, you might get some crazy people like me and want one of each, although I'm not going to do that, but you, you get my point. There are some collectors out there that are like that. Um, yeah, Niku Navy, I can't recommend this game enough. Um, it's available digitally on the Switch. If you're cool with downloaded, downloading digital shooters, then I suggest that you do so. 
uh, because as it was said to me, this game is quite good. What I have played of this game so far, it is quite good. And I actually highly recommend it. Get a first press game. Make sure you get a physical copy. If you're like me and you like those physical shooters, this is not something that I personally want to miss out on. I do, I do really like this. And again, I'm not, I haven't even dove deep into it. I've only played it for a few hours, but what I have played... Like, yeah, I really like it. But anyway, this is Niku Navy Daydream Edition from First Press Games for the Nintendo Switch. So in here we have Sisters Royale. I guess that's how you pronounce it, Sisters Royale. That new Alpha System shooter. This is the strictly limited games version. Now, this shipped to me two or three months ago. And I was trying to kill a couple minutes of work, so I was thinking about the game. And I was like, oh, yeah, I never got that. I emailed strictly limited games. And... I don't think they emailed me back, but I just let them know, hey, I haven't gotten my shipment yet. And then I emailed them again saying, yeah, it just showed up at the house, I guess, when I was at work. Uh, that's crazy. That's not the first instance of something like that happening. I don't know. I guess you throw that energy out there saying that you want it and uh, the universe uh, gets it for you. Anyway, let's pop this bad boy open. Strictly limited games, they use pretty good packaging. Ah, God, this thing's in here. All right, here we go. Okay, that's right, I ordered two of these. This is the, uh, there's the card they give you. Pretty nice looking card. Reminds me of like Persona 5 or something. But here it is. This is actually, uh, as you can see, it's the Switch version. I'm going to leave this sealed because I already downloaded it on the Switch. Um, I, I got friends of mine that would go nuts over that. Like, you're going to leave that thing sealed? Like, well, I already have it digitally, you know. Um, hey, I guess that's what uh, makes me a collector. But there we go for the Switch. But I am going to open this one, okay. PS4 version, same card. I wonder if there's any, any differences here. I know Limited Run, they tend to use different cards on some of their releases. But, uh... Nice cover. I think these guys, they did a, a shooter on the 360 and the PS3, I think. Like, oh, God. It might not have been them. Like, Mamoru, Mamoru Kun? Does that sound familiar? Let me know in the comments if you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's see if there's a manual in here. You know, strictly limited. They're, they're known for actually having manuals in their games, even more so than Limited Run. You know, half of the stuff they sell doesn't even have a manual anymore. But... All right, moment of truth. Damn. Um, I tried to give him props for the manuals. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. No manual, but we do have a disc. That's the main thing, right? The disc doesn't even look all that. and No reversible cover. All right, let's see. Okay, so this card, this will be the manual. As a matter of fact, both of these cards, at least the cards fit in there. I'll try to be optimistic. I should be grateful that I actually got these games because I thought they were just, you know, lost in the abyss of what is USPS, UPS, FedEx, and uh, DHL. But anyway, there we go. Uh, Sisters Royale for the PS4. So that's pretty much it, at least for this week, guys. I really appreciate everybody that's dropping comments uh, when I've been live streaming, everybody that's been hopping in. Uh, I really enjoy interacting with you guys. Anyways, till next time or next stream, peace out. What up, kid? I know shit is rough doing your grip. When the cops came, you should have slid to my crib. Fucking black no time for looking back is done. Plus, congratulations, you know you got a son. I heard you much like you. Why don't your lady write you? Told her she should visit, that's when she got hyper. Flipping, talking about he acts too rough. He didn't listen, he be ripping. I'm telling them stuff. I was like, yeah, shorty don't care. She a snake too. Fucking with them niggas from that fake crew that hate you. But yo, guess who got shot?